Today, we've got the best Karen clips of 2022. Starting things off, we have this Karen who couldn't wait any longer for his chicken nuggets. Wonder if they got some sweet and sour sauce with that. Here you go, I did it myself. I got my twin nuggets. I'm sorry, I'm tired of waiting. I got I got what? You got what? To what? You got what? To what? You got what? To what? What you got? I don't know the address, man. What you got? Twenty dollars. <laughs> worker accidentally gets a customer the wrong ticket, and when the worker tries to resolve the situation, the customer turns into a Karen. Listen, why, what's so hard is you sold the wrong ticket for the wrong movie, yeah, now you won't give it. Well, don't, don't apologize. I just would I like, Tema, I would like a ticket. I would like a ticket. Now that one is already sold at 3.30. Sir, there's 10 minutes of previews. You can still go. We would have had this figured out. Okay, I would just like my ticket stuff, dude. I need it for my paperwork, sir. Please. I need this. I need to fill out paperwork. I've shown you. made a mistake. I don't care about your paperwork. I don't need your apology. I'm not filling out any paperwork. I want to either want my money back or I want to go to the movie. And either way, dude, I'm not filling out anything. I want my ticket stuff. I don't give you my personal information. It's nice that you're Yeah, of course I am, because you're a complete jerk, and you're ruining my movie. Because you sold the wrong movie ticket, the wrong theater, and now you won't you won't give me my ticket stub. I keep all my, I don't need your apology. I keep all my ticket stubs, and you won't give me a ticket stub to the movie theater. I don't need to fill out anything, dude. then I can't give you well, well, then give me a ticket stub to the next movie. That's I, I can't give you. I have to ring something. I up can't believe this. So you're gonna give me that ticket stub? No, I need this, sir. So you won't give me my money or a ticket stub? I need you to fill out this refund and void log. I, I need you to. I want to go out. see a movie. I want a ticket stub for the movie that I'm going to see. I don't care if you made a mistake and you can't do your paperwork, sir. I, I don't care. Once you fill this I'm, out, I will swap the ticket and I have your 225 ready. That's my, all my I need you to do. My 225 and my ticket stub. I will give you it, sir. I'm telling you that I need you to fill this out. I can't out, believe please. this, dude. Oh. If anyone wants to know a quick way to get rid of Karens, this video shows you exactly that. Hello. 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 Hi, how are you? My name's Veronica. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. sorry, that was really rude. Sorry. How you let him do that to me? No, I, I didn't. I'm, I'm not, I don't even know who you are, man. No, I'm sorry. See, I'm not this kind of dog, but like... No, you, you're super I friendly. love these kind of dogs, but... It's okay. Uh, you know what? It's, have a nice day. Okay, cool. Come on, Z. We have this next Karen who bullies this streamer for having an arts degree. ...from my flight tomorrow, so... It's not on you. I don't know why you keep paying me attention, but it's not on you at all. Pretty pathetic. Pretty pathetic. Pretty schizo. Psychology major, I see. Sorry? A psychology major? Yeah, I do, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, did you, what did you study, huh? Political science. Oh, wow. Do you yes. have a job? Actually, do you have a yeah. job? Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so where'd you get your M MA in psychology MA? from? Okay, I don't... This guy's a joke. I don't know why he's picking me like a... I don't know why he's trying to make fun of me for having an arts degree when he has one himself. That's like the worst part. A Karen's handbook must contain a lot of pages if they don't allow other people to walk their dogs. Yeah. So what happened? It's private property. You can't let your dog poo here. Oh, okay. Even if you live here? Your dog. It's private property. You are trespassing. You are trespassing, sir. I'm trespassing. Where am I trespassing on? Look, your dog. Is, take a uh, yeah. Take a video of the dog. Do it. Do it. Do it. This is. I'm 
asking you asking me what not to trespass. trespass how you what is trespassing exactly look at the yeah where's the private property right where you're sitting. yeah you know you know everybody who lives you know everybody you guys know everybody who lives here yes i do you do i'm on the board of directors here i know everybody do you really here. care so how, really care well, I, I, I care about annoying people. You live here? Do you live here? I might. Do you? I might. Do you? I don't think I need to tell you that. Right, so that means you don't. You're okay. A liar. Yeah? You're a liar. How long have you guys been living here? I don't have to answer your question. Oh, you're not going to answer yours? I'm on my home. Oh, sure. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm on board. I know you're not, you don't live All right. Yeah, cool. All right, this was great. I love you guys. Now we bring you this racist Karen who also loses the plot over pigeons. Please stop. Do you think even you... These birds are blind. Are you blind or something? Are you blind or something? Didn't you learn in biology? Leave those birds alone. <laughs> You're not in your country. If you have such problems, you want to like discriminate or whatever, get out of this country. Can you like chill and, and not like I wasn't gonna get chill. and don't be racist? I'm not even racist. Racism. Is, you are. You no, are. Racism is when you're black or something. You're white. You like Malakaftin. You are, you are racist. Like no, I'm not racist. Who, who, not who you are to tell me to go get out of your country? Yeah. Excuse me when you like I don't know take the birds and I don't know what the you guys are. I doing. love the birds. So what did I, I do take? with it? Am I gonna? I don't know. It? Leave them alone. They're mm -hmm. white animals. Bro, okay. go back to the day, okay? okay. Go back to you the have day. TikTok personality. And like, you, you can like talk and not scream and be polite. Have a nice day. Yeah. Then leave the birds alone. Oh, no. Karen parents go crazy after being confronted about their kids throwing trash. Check it out. Moving forward, we have this Karen who gets annoyed at the sound of this guy's lawnmower. Sorry, lady, but I don't think he has much control over that. Not like they make silencers for lawnmowers. Yeah, well, it's done, guys, so... 
Yeah, and everyone else is mowing the lawns. This Karen has a meltdown after being told off for cutting in line. Take a look. Touch! I didn't touch you, I man. Didn't... Not that long ago and I can't stand another man touching me! Well, no one did that. It's okay. It's okay. It's just Is this a prank? I can't. He won't go away. He You're needs to go away. He's I need to leave. No, no, no. Just walk away. We'll take it to I still got. I still got. Okay. Yeah, she threw some place. of my stuff. Okay. You know, Where is she still? I oh, hell if I know. I'm so sorry. No, you're not, you're not sorry. Well, she wasn't sorry when she cut in line. Yeah. In the rain I didn't see you. To make it. Oh, well, I just she asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just leave. Just go. That's leave. an adult. You're making it loud. Let's just walk up. I'm just here. talking. Walk up to you. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Yeah. Just just check out this guy that has a meltdown in McDonald's. Seems like he missed his McHappy meal. Instead of calling me a snack, just call me a candle. Because I smell good, I'm fired, and I'll burn this whole down if you play with me. What the f are you talking about? It's understandable to get mad if you have to pay for something you didn't like. However, if this Karen didn't like it, why did she drink two glasses of it? The red one? Mm. Um, so I didn't know this was going to so we just decided, oh, there's a problem, we can help with it so much. Yeah, I'm just going to try it. Right, first of all, I'm sorry about that. Hey, you know me, my name's Ryan. Hi, Sam. Look, secondly, we have opened the bottle. The company policy is that we cannot be sent to the bottle. The line is intended, so, you know, we're giving you a good price on the bottle. Even her friend offers to pay. Karen's always seem to make massive problems of coupons just like this one. Yeah, so we can't give it to you with, with this purchase, but if you want to come back it's in... It's on the coupon! Okay, look, well, I'm sorry, ma'am, you know but like... Do you know what? I will buy her cookie. Okay? You can put well, it Well, did you want me to buy it? Okay. I don't know. I'll, it doesn't I'll make buy sense, her but it's a coupon. I'll buy her cookie, okay? You can I was just trying to explain to you what it was, okay? okay? So, I can I have a... Let her hand, hand the oh, What the hell's wrong with you? 
Come on, we got children here. That's all right, I'll take the sandwich. Thank you. No, you cannot take the sandwich if you didn't pay for it. Okay. Why are you sitting there then? Then let the cookie go. Go, go right here. Charge me. I got a coupon for this, though. You okay. gotta take that one. All right, guys, I'll do it in a moment. All right. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Next up, we have this Karen who started drinking a little too early. She definitely ends up getting what she deserves, though. I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything! I don't understand what this outburst is coming from. Okay, what? She didn't do anything. I want to understand what I did. I want to know what the pilot saw that I did that he wants me off this plane. No, I don't care. It's my money. My money. I pay. I pay him to fly. So I want the pilot to come out. I want the pilot to come out and tell me what I did. I did not do anything wrong. I want the pilot to come out. I want him to show me how disrespectful I was. I didn't do anything. Excuse me. No, I don't want to be booked on another flight. This is my sister's birthday. I am on this flight. I want to be on this flight. I want to be in Vegas to have fun. I don't understand what is his problem. I want him to come out. I really want him to come out. This plane will not leave. I will not leave until he comes out and tells me what I did. I want to know what I did. Please tell me what I did. Did I do anything? I want him to come out and tell me what I did. There is no citizen's arrest. I didn't do anything. I'm sitting here taking my sister to Vegas for her birthday. I don't know what I did. Was she a I don't know what I did. He was sitting right next to I didn't do anything. Well, why are you here? Because the pilot is. Why though? I want to know why. Did I do anything wrong? Yes. What did I do? Yes. All of you. All of you. All of your. Oh, you're all not sorry. 
People who own a room at a storage facility should be allowed to enter at any time. However, in this Karen's handbook, that's a big fat no. Who are these people here at this storage facility at this time of night? Miss Guy, these are contractors for me. I don't give a I'm calling the I'm calling the police, okay? They have no they have no business being here at this time of night. She said she's gonna call the courtesy officer. I heard her. Okay. I heard her. Oh my goodness. Come on, Buck. Buck, come on. Let's go. Let's go. What do you smell on them, huh? She called me a Smell something on you. What the, what is going on, man? Up next, we have a Karen telling off this lady, however, gets stopped by a three-year-old. Yes, that's right, a three-year-old. When your grandma's neighbor is a Karen, but your three-year-old niece has your back. Let me talk to you. Nobody is supposed to park there. Hmm. Is this coming? is my auntie. I don't care who it is. There's no parking in front of these come. apartments. And she can do whatever she wants because she's my auntie. Oh, well, that's just tough, ladies. They come! They come! Moving forward, we have this Karen that decides to racially profile this guy for no apparent reason. You. First off, we have break into your cars. They broke into my car. They did? Well, I'm sorry. Of course. They broke into my car five times. Well, Hi, I live here. I've been living here for about five years. And then Karen walked up to me just now, and she was pestering me about what I'm doing following her. What, what am I doing? She came all the way to my car. And now she, did you call security yet? I, yeah, I called one of the officers, yeah. What'd you, what, what'd he say? He didn't answer, I was probably the voice You want me to help you call security? Sure. How long y'all been living here? Go right ahead and call security. How long y'all been living here? It doesn't matter how long. I'm you got anything to say or no? You just. I got my car broken into. I don't give a, a month ago. I don't give a f I pull in here where I pay $1,700 a month. First off, sir, the description was exactly what you're wearing. And then you have a backpack. That's crazy. So the description was me of the person that broke into your car? Yeah, the hoodie, everything. Back they had on a pink hoodie when they were breaking in? Why? I just mentioned it. I apologize. They had on a pink hoodie, black nails, and a backpack. I mean, she did this. I'm not content creating. I'm an influencer. If I wanted to, you'd be finished. Weird. If you raise your voice. No, what? if I get more likes... I get more likes if a white woman walks up to me and asks me what I'm doing in my apartment. White, thank you. She's not white. All right. <laughs> She's Mex. She's Mexican. All right. Good day, Karen. And who the f you are, goof? Karen's diner is known to be rude and to give out insults, but this Kevin lost the plot. Do you think he went a bit too far, or was he right? What's your one thing your mind says? No body shape. You can never please a Karen, it seems like. I mean, honestly, it's nothing is intentional, please. Well, I, I don't care if it's intentional or not. I'm sorry. I get that you've apologised, but what's done is done. And you can't take that back now. And now I've got to sit here and read that. Yeah, but it's a, you don't need to worry about that. 
Honestly, I don't need to worry. You look wonderful. It's not something that you really need to worry about. Are you for real? You don't know me. You don't know my life. You don't know my backstory. You don't know my situation. How can you sit there and say, I look wonderful? Well, thank you. That's really nice of you. But you don't know what's going on. No. You don't know what I've been through. So putting this down here on this table for me to see makes it very difficult for me. Do you understand that? I completely, completely. But you don't, completely. because or else you wouldn't have done it. Please, no, please, I won't please, actually. Please, there are other people here. I don't care. No. I'm please. sure they agree with me. This is ridiculous. Right. This obviously this situation is really, really quite quite tense and quite Yes, you know, it is tense. We didn't mean to do anything to upset you like that. <sighs> the, honestly, honestly, these menus are brand new. I don't They're care. I asked you specifically. I came in here and I asked you specifically. I don't. You've obviously not listened, so you're not doing your job very well, are you? No, no, we have. I've no. asked you specifically for those. Yeah. What you've done is ignore me and brought these anyway. Now I've got to sit here and read that, Madam, and you don't understand how difficult that is for me to sit here and read. Let me explain, okay? These menus that we have are brand new, okay? We are trying to work with two different types of menus, some that come with calories, some that don't come with calories. And we are trying so hard to accommodate everybody. Yeah, but not hard enough. Because this was an error. This was, you know, I'm not a robot. I'm a human. Right. And I've just picked up the wrong And menu, I'm and a I'm human sorry. too. And now you've ruined my day because I've got to sit here and read the calories on there. And you know what? Now I don't want anything because now I've got to sit there and count it all up and decide what I want. And that's, and now I'm in my head. And that's really difficult for me. And you're sitting there saying, oh, it's fine. You look lovely, but you don't know what's going on in my head. And now I've got to sit here and decide what to order. No, listen to me. Listen to me. This is ridiculous. No, I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. I'm paying. Getting mad over a toilet is a bit far, don't you think? <laughs> well, this Kevin shows otherwise. <laughs> Can you call the Can you you're causing the problem? No, I'm not. We sold this to her already. You came right in front of me. I this have the receipt. We okay. bought it I'm already. You work right it out there. with another store. Well, you go and work as it soon out with as them. I do, I will. When you're I not the taking same away price. from this young lady. I don't take away from anything. I was That's here. That's what you're trying to do right now. now. Why I do I have to wait for you to call another store? It's mine. I don't need to wait. I was here in front of it. I said, I want this toilet. We paid you for it. You up in front of me and you grabbed it from me. Because I paid for it already. I, I paid it. I picked Put it up. Put your camera you. down. Go ahead, record me. I'm not doing oh, no. anything wrong. <laughs> you have my toilet that you I can't don't grab. Have your toilet. <laughs> I don't have your toilet. Crazy. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> no, we'll have the police remove you if you can't remove yourself. I can remove myself just fine. Michael. We bring you this Karen that has to be told to leave a gym, but feels like the manager is discriminating them. However, you clearly hear that they were setting the locker room like an apartment. The policy violation for what? So being in the facility, we've already talked to you numerous times, brought you up numerous times, um, keeping yourself in the locker room, told you that. Keeping myself in there? Yeah, in the lockers. How was I keeping myself in the locker? Myself or my stuff? Your stuff. Okay. Not self. Well, y'all only told me today. No, we've told you. No, you have stuff. not. You're That's a liar. Right. No, you haven't. No. You haven't. No. You haven't. But so you can that, sit there and lie, but you can you can leave now. No, I can't because I'm no, talking. No, you're terminated. Yes, you can. No, I can't. I can call the police on you. Call them. I will just call them. Just call them up here. No, I'm call them. I don't give a damn. Get out. No, call them. Please do. Call them. Call them. You gotta make it hard. No. Because y'all are full of Call them. Man, I'm just trying to eat. Okay. Uh, How you doing? How you doing? Um, so I do have an um, incident here at my gym at Planet Fitness on Victory. I have someone here who I'm telling to leave the facility because they are terminated and they are not wanting to take Is that sorry right now? Uh, it is going to be 2142 East Victory Drive. I am the uh, 
I'm a manager, not a, wait, sorry, ask that again? No, no, I'm the manager, the assistant manager here. Mm-hmm. I have a Yeah, he's the manager, everybody, just so y'all know. And they're not wanting to leave. I'm so not. I'm trying to ask him to give me a We've been, yeah, he's terminated. Well, y'all need to refund my money. Uh, black. Jamaican. Uh, you need to refund hat, my money. McDonald's shirt. Uh, orange hat. Lids, yes. Um, lashes. Yeah, orange hair, lashes. Yeah, yeah. all that. Uh, jeans. Yes, yes, male. And yeah, blue jeans. The McDonald's shirt is like kind of um, bluish, kind of like light blue. Oh, Lucas. Lucas Holden. Thank you. Trying to, trying to eat. Despite being asked to leave, they claim they haven't done anything wrong, but what they say next just explains everything. Okay. They're on the way. Okay. Y'all need to refund my money. Wanna sit down? Nope. I'm okay. good right here. Cool. So they need to refund my money. No. Okay. So y'all stole my stuff and now y'all play with my money, okay. What did we steal? My stuff out that locker. There was nothing stolen. Yes, it was. Like That's what I just called the police for. My candles was missing and my money. That's why y'all shouldn't touch people's sh Your sh is in there. You no, my like, money what, is not in my pants candles? pockets. No, I had 15 and it's only eight in that box. That ain't my fault. Oh, but you went in my damn locker. I moved it. So, yeah. I why would I want you? To I don't know. I don't want candles or tarot cards or anything like that. Well, you went in it, huh? I don't know what you want. You got black fingernail problems. I don't know what the f you want out of here. So do you. I know. I'm transgender. Are you? No. Oh, okay. I'm just wearing it so I can stop biting my nails. Oh. Why well, you suing something? Hmm? Yeah, shut. Actually, I can't either record people while they're walking through the gym. So if you could actually either face that on yourself and just let their voice record over, that'd be nice. No? Okay. Oh, but I, oh. Well, we both got on black palms. I got what now? We both got on black palms. I look better though. Yeah, so. It's Both just, weird. It's nail polish. I you, know. What so what do you mean weird? I'm not talking about you're weird because of nail polish. I'm saying you're weird because of how you're acting. How am I acting? You don't see it? No. I'm just recording this. To cover okay. myself because that's bull. It's a lot if you don't see it. I know. You're more than just weird then. Okay. You got something else wrong. Okay. How do you think the manager handled them? Let me know down in the comments with your thoughts. Y'all see, this is how they talk to customers. But you're Ex-members. You're, you're not a customer. You're terminated. That's the thing. You're, you're, you're lower Yeah, because I called the police on you for going to my stuff. I mean, that's so funny that you did that, though. Because it's policy. You can't have stuff in Well, there. when were y'all going to tell me that? But they did tell you. No, they didn't. That's why I know you're lying. I, was I walked in did. here yesterday with liar because i walked in here yesterday and i saw you nobody but told no, me I'll, anything you've been, you've been told nobody before, told me anything but you've been told before that's the funny part nobody told me anything we have had no the hell y'all haven't y'all told me about sleeping nobody ever told me about my stuff you think the fuck i'd have left all my stuff in the gym it's still insane that you did that though yeah because i left I it in like here. Live here no i don't live here i was changing my clothes where do you live i'm homeless and i told you that yeah, your mom kicked you out no she didn't she's dead no, your mom called us and told you. No, told she's us. dead. Then who called us? That your mom literally called the gym and told us she, she kicked you out. How did my mom call and tell y'all that she's deceased? You want me to pull up the obituary? She's deceased. I don't know. So who the fuck called you? I don't know then. Because the it's a lie. The ghost? I don't know. No, it's no ghost. But she's haunting us now. No, nobody called y'all. It's a lie.
Okay, good. Uh, hey, welcome back. There's a reason why you have to arrive at a specific time for boarding. But Karens think that everyone has to deal with when it works for them. It's supposed to be on a flight to Memphis. Oh my God. Our connection was delayed. We're at L24. Can you please open the gate? Girl, she is on the mic right now. This is like public freakout level. This child who was rude to the barista will never learn as her mother is a Karen and they can never do anything wrong. Seriously. Uh, what can I get for you guys? No, <laughs> I, they know I'm going, doing nothing until they bring a supervisor over here. And I'm dead serious. She's disrespecting she's a team. Team. She's talking she, So real. I need a supervisor now. Because I wasn't being rude to you. I wasn't yelling at you or nothing. But once you disrespect my child, then yes, I have a problem. I was being very respectful to you. I wasn't raising my voice okay. or nothing. But you're going to disrespect my kid. This is over a cup, guys. No, you're disrespecting my over daughter. That's what it's over. Dude, first off, she's calling her a b My daughter stepped she's in. I'm trying to calm myself down after she disrespected my 10-year-old daughter. We have so, witnesses here, so we can do that too. Oh, that's yes, fine. Oh, she, yes, they could rewind oh, cameras. Do not disrespect my daughter, like I said. I didn't Once say you, anything. What? She Man. wasn't like, you really want to say stuff? She started calling her a and my daughter told her not to be disrespecting her tia like that. And you she started. Because you are She one. started yelling at my 10-year-old daughter. I didn't yell at her, first of all. I did not yell at her. You. Exactly. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Not only that, regardless of how rowdy my sister in laws getting, she should not be talking to customers that way. That's how Starbucks is representing Starbucks, and I will no longer buy from Starbucks then. But like I said, I wasn't disrespecting her. I wasn't getting out nothing. But once you disrespect my 10 year old daughter, regardless of how my 10 year old daughter's acting, that's when I got a problem. And like I said, if she's going to disrespect my 10-year-old daughter, then she can take her outside so I can whoop her And I'm not playing. Okay. I, I, yeah, I, she needs to be recommended for the I, way she, I, she's I, acting. I, I, I will speak with her. I don't I have a not here to see what I want her name. I want her, her name. Because it's I want Hannah. Her, I want her name because I'm calling corporate. I want her name. And I'm serious. I want her name. And if she does not give me her name, I will take a picture of her and I will send it to corporate. Go ahead. Take a picture of me. She's not allowed to. I'm going to get out of here. I would like her name. Now this one handled herself very well after having to deal with this racist Karen. Police, come here. Yes, can you get the police here, please? Wonderful. Help! Wonderful. Help me! Fire! Help me! Fire! Help me! Fire! Help me! She's a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> and you're a kindergarten teacher. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god. Really? Does that trigger you? That does not does trigger that me. Trigger. Check out this next clip. It is just shocking. See? I almost hit you. You're not even paying attention. You about to hit everybody else. You almost ran into him, almost ran into me. She comes back out and starts saying some rude comments. Yeah, 
see it. You don't talk and you write. You don't say nothing to nobody. I do. No, no, it's not excuse me. You almost hit me. No, I didn't. You want to exchange the No, what you, you there's, have? there's no there's no what need. You have? There's no need. What you have? There's no need. What you have? It doesn't matter. Cuz you ain't that you You're you right, I don't. You're right, I don't. No. What you thought you was going to check a check on me? No I check. Work, I run my own business. That's fine. I'm white happy white for you. You on your way to the white man. That's not your business that you that you on your way to filling up your gas. Is that right. your business? Okay, cool. Yeah. Is that your business? Sure. It is. Okay. What does that mean? Do you own your car? No. You don't own yours either. Yes, I do. I'm sure I you don't. Paid, I just paid. This car's paid off. And this is a car that I ride around. And, and you, you almost committed. And you yours? almost committed. Is it bad because it's better than yours? Ma'am, it's not that serious, ma'am. Yes, ma it is that serious. So you said something funny. Yes, because you, you almost hit me. That's why I'm cussing your out. It's cameras. I you don't give a I come here all the time. So you almost hit me. Put it on Facebook. Put it on Facebook. Trust me, I will. Put it on YouTube. I will. You almost hit me. Why you ain't, why you ain't take your phone out me? Cause I was trying to defend my. You taking your phone out because I responded, so you can't believe how I responded. Keep it real. I can't believe how you responded. No, you can't. You responded with a lot of anger. You're angry you're at right, someone else. I'm dealing with some. I you know. Just out. I know. Oh, man, don't hit my car. I. I got, if I hit your car, I gotta pay for your just, car. Just bring it down. I gotta pay for your. Just bring it down. If I hit your car, I gotta pay just for it. Just bring it down. My lawyer gotta pay for it. I have lawyers. You're angry at someone else. Now you get this my he asks her to listen, but she continues on rambling. The fact that I raised my voice. You did, and you did. Just listen. You did. <laughs> listen, ma'am. No, you, but you have no reason to be scared for me. Listen. You got to beat me up. I promise. No, no, no. No, ma'am. No. 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 Listen. Listen. Listen, ma'am. Listen. You start reaching up in listen. You start reaching. Stop it. Listen. I got listen. a license too, but I ain't got my gun, though. I teach so many people. Listen, listen, listen. You are mad, I need and that's I need, okay. I need, I listen. No, no, no. What if I need no, help? No, what if I need help? And what if I am the one to help you? So listen to me. Okay. Because I know when I get, when I saw you get out that car. It wasn't at me. I'm an anger management specialist. And I'm not saying you got anger issues, right? There's a lot of things that I do professionally where I can see that it wasn't you. Something has you bothered this morning. We all go through it. We all go through it. So it's not you. Poor guy. He would definitely be regretting his choice of girlfriend in this situation. Everyone falls. However, don't fall in front of a Karen, because it just might turn out like this next clip. Yeah. No, just stay there. Huh? Stay there. Yeah. Sit down. You do not scare to the back of people. Can I see your pass, please? Yes. Are you okay? And do you know what? He nearly killed me. He hit my skis at speed from behind. Okay? I'm very sorry, ma'am. I'm no. very sorry. No. It's always nice to see a good soul standing up for what's right. Like this next one that tells this Kevin off. To tell you that it's not a calm situation. It's maybe calm for you because you don't give a because you think you have the right to tell whoever you want to come in, but you don't. It's a you said on the they phone, don't. I have the right to tell whoever to I let in. I, I, no, I you don't. You right. don't have the right to discriminate in this country. It's a I crime. Have the right for reservation. If, for, on the basis of race. 
to you. Uh, to you. Uh, yes or no? To you. My brother, don't interrupt. This is what happened. Okay. This man right here, Tabiso, came in yesterday. Okay. Right. Moments after Jordan came in. Moments after. Okay. Your bouncer stopped him and said, Why are you going in? Who are you going into? Okay. okay. He said, Why are you asking me? He said, You can't come in here unaccompanied without a white person. He said, What? He said, You can't come in here without a white person. If you come in here, I know what you like. You steal, you guys cause trouble. You need to come in here with a white person. He asked him, who decides this? This is what the bosses have told me. Then Jordan, not knowing where Tabiso is, goes out and sees the bouncer re-explain this and says it to him again and says, it's not me who decides, it's the policy. Now I'm sure if this had to get out, there's a lot more people that have experienced this. This is firstly okay. a crime. I'm not done speaking. When I'm done, I'll give you an opportunity. It's firstly a crime in this country. Do you know where you exist? You exist in South Africa, where we have a deeply painful history of the Secondly, this will blow up an institution like Hans. You're known. You're not a somewhere in the middle of nowhere. You can't be doing this. You will become like clicks overnight. You have protesters outside your door. Do you think this is all right? Is this the practice of the business? Is this how you've decided and instructed your bouncers to do? Speak. You clearly know about this. Well, listen, we've been trading for eight years. We've never had an incident ever before. And I can speak for our barman. And uh, we've got an eclectic. I mean, I what are you saying? Incident. Address just the on. issue. Just hang on a second. Eclectic? What the? We, we've got a. We've never had a, a, a race issue here before. Is that is that correct, Danny, or not? Okay. So what does that mean? But, uh, what the f does that mean? I'm building up to. He's one aware of it. He's aware of it. I've heard of you it. He continues supporting his friends. Check it out. I've heard of you it. You have a reputation of, of the sh Look, I'm going to have to find my, my bouncer. No, it's He's, not your it's bouncer. Not, An individual not doesn't decide the institutional policy. It's not my policy, brother. I've never then what? Ever, How, did he ever. decide that on his own? Do you think he that on his own. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So he's lying. He's lying. Is that what you're saying? Guys, is everything that Chris has said true? Is that what you're saying? You told me. 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 You told me that you have the right. You told me you have the right. That's what you told me. I never said I had the, uh, to I let in who you want. No. You don't. Listen, brother. You don't. Listen, just calm down, brother. Don't tell me to calm down. You better calm down. No, no, no. I'm not calm. This is Listen, not a calm I'm situation. Never... Okay, I apologize. Stop saying you've never. You're dealing with it now. I, I don't give a with... that you've had it in the past, that you haven't. We, we, this is where you are. Look at this man in the eye. If you give a and apologize, maybe that's a good place to start. Maybe that's a good place to start. Look, Don't tell us about a bouncer. No one's going to believe that. No one takes that for That man works for someone. You tell him who to let in and who not. I, that's how that works. Okay? My brother, I don't... Don't, I'm, I'm not your brother. Listen. I've never had an issue. Like you have before. this now. Okay, but listen, I, I've got to speak to the bouncer. I am dealing with a lot. Okay, I do apologize. Look him in the f***ing eyes and tell him you're sorry. Don't just say, I apologize. Recognize the seriousness of this situation. I am doing you a courtesy by coming here. My first instinct, go to the police. It's a crime in this country. A good colleague of mine works for the Sunday Times. They have a field day with this. The EFF will be outside here tomorrow. Yeah, but brother, you can't, you can't judge me. I'm not. I'm, I'm judging this institution. This no, institution has a race policy right. at the door. Yes. And do you own it? Are you an owner? Yes, I am. Okay. But so are you accountable for its actions? I've never had. Oh, do you policy. take responsibility for of the actions? I do. Good. So let's solve the. Watch as the Kevin is told to apologize. Policy <laughs> for the actions. I do. Good. So let's solve the apology. Okay. Look him in the eyes and apologize. I'm, I'm, I am. I'm deeply sorry, brother. I don't think you mean what you're saying. Now. How, how can you say it? You should be sorry with that. You came in saying you've never had it before. You have a policy. Maybe you need to make a This is what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to tell you, you've got a few options here. You decide to either try and make the situation right, deal with it in a serious way, or we're going to walk out the door, go to the police, go to the press, 
and make us come out of this. And I will rededicate my life to dealing with this. So what would you like to do? Think about it, man. Think about what you want to do. Don't apologize to the no, it's worse than an apology. You need to decide as an institution how to deal with this. Who else runs this show? Is it just you? Are you the sole owner? Okay. Maybe phone your partner and decide how you want to deal with this and we'll wait. But I'm telling you, this is not going away. It's not going away. We're going to wait here. Acts of kindness are always good to see, just like this lady who was trying to order some food for a homeless man. But gets denied instead. So this homeless man, I'm trying to order a two-piece dinner for them. I, well, may I speak to the manager? Hold on. <laughs> so I don't know when Popeyes don't let you order for him. He's asking for. Food. No, ma'am, you why, can't do it. Why? Do He's asking for food. Ma'am, you can't do it. I don't care nothing about you recording me, baby. May I have your name so I can let the people know? I didn't ask this lady to do nothing. Okay. But it doesn't stop there because the worker did this. They called the cops on me everything, bro. Easy. I can't order for this homeless man right here who asked for food. He didn't ask for nothing. He didn't even ask for no money. And then they've been so rude. Like, this is crazy. Hey. My name's Jazz. And uh, thanks, to, thanks to the Glow Yo, Twins, yeah. I, I, got, I got famous. I do art every day out here on Ponce. Uh -huh. And the, the manager in the, in the, in the pie pie, she, she turned this lady down. She offered me something to eat. Everyone knows when your reservation's up, you have to leave. But for Kevin's, oh, it's a completely different meaning. Now bring you Amanda Marie Keschner, or as you may know her, the Home Depot Karen. Call the cops. I've done nothing wrong. I'm trying to buy something. And he's like, I'm not discounting anything. I'm not selling you anything. Get out of my store. Like, pushing me out. Like, walking me out. Not touching me, but like, pushing me basically out. And then I turn around and say, You're going to be rude. Go back to your country. Go back to your country. Because he wasn't from here. That was it. And I mean this sincerely. For all the people in the back, if you ain't going to respect Americans, go back to your country. Respect is or not given. And working customer service um, for one. So I turn around, I say, go back to your country and learn some manners before you come here. Whatever the I said, Spitfire, as always, you know how I do. That was it. Back in New York, the word is not really like offensive, but I understand we live in a day and age and everybody's not from New York City and everything is sensitive to everybody who's not from New York City. So the gay guy got really offended when I said for him to go back to his country. Get out of here, you go back 
to your country? Yeah? You ain't never go back? Yeah, you did this? You yelling, screaming at me. So I finally pull out my phone. I'll show you the end of it. Here's the video. Been on the phone uh, in the parking lot. So customer service complaining because that's not how we treat customers. So Mr. Hansen and Jamie are going to lose their job today. This is what happens when we put Amanda Marie Kessner. Okay, bye. Here she is in Safeway complaining there is no food. This is a joke. This has to be a joke. Do you guys really not have any organic anything? This has to be a joke. Like you guys must have known I was on live to like not have any organic produce. All the organic produce looks like little shit. There's no organic cilantro. Everything's soggy, wilted. The celery's falling apart. I know, but I'm just relaying it to you to relate to your boss that you know when people spend hundreds of dollars, they want to at least eat good quality food. Sorry, I just came off of like an eight and a half or hour shift. I'm starving right now. I expected to get dinner and I literally have four things in my cart and no dinner. Okay, no berries. Awesome. Cool. I guess I have to go food shopping somewhere else. Thank you. What an epic Yep, this is what we got. Let's do an inventory list. We got black bean pasta. At least we have dinner tonight. The only thing that doesn't have additives in it for dinner granola in case I get hungry the rest of the week since we got nothing else. We got bananas just to keep me by because I'm a monkey. Yogurt? Don't worry, we're gonna survive. And two drinks just in case. Safe way, do better. All right, I'm gonna go pay for literally nothing and go food shop somewhere else, I guess, tomorrow and have no dinner for t lunch for tomorrow. All right, thanks for hanging out, guys. Once again, she's back. Reporting to you live from my therapy, um, not therapy session, because I'm um, out of the hospital now that my dad checked me in for two weeks, and I still haven't seen a therapist. They slapped on schizophrenia, yeah, uh, whatever you say. They slapped on bipolar. They slapped on PTSD, CPTSD, um, gravely disabled, grand dose. Apparently, I have an alien living inside of me. Yes, they are saying this stuff, and I'm here in their lobby. But this really nice gentleman, we're not going to get him involved. But he's been dealing with it for about 20 years. So I'm going to have his back because it doesn't look like the people here taking my money once again, drugging me don't. Now, here's the thing I'm really upset about. They're discriminating against me. I am Jewish and Big Pharma is not kosher. For the people in the back, Big Pharma is not kosher. I don't see a kosher sign on Big Pharma. So stop drugging us Jews. We've been through enough with don't you think? The Italians been through. It seems to be that the only people who keep misdiagnosing me are the people who are collecting a paycheck every single time they give me a medication. Huh. Last time I checked, there was no medication for PTSD. Last time I checked, if you're bipolar, you can't multitask. Well, I run five companies. So, um, who wants to be my lawyer for this mega lawsuit? Malpractice, medical negligence. We're taking down the whole medical system. We're just starting here. We got nothing but time all day today. We're going to sit on live all day today. I told them that they had till 1130 to get me an appointment or I was going to go live and expose all the deep, darkest secrets. And here we are just being impeccable to my word. You know, I learned that in a book I read once upon a time. Why are we even keeping this I'm O positive. I can't even get no spleen. Hadn't gotten it yet. This is a crock. I learned from this guy, Keith Zhang, who works for the CDC, that we are in a simulation. Ah, everybody, we are in a simulation. Run for your lives. And she's back again. With their free will. So, therefore, I don't even need to have other actors play people. Like, my stepmom can play herself. I don't even have to try to figure out who looks like her now because she ruined herself. Well, she ruined herself with all that Botox. She used to be beautiful. She was even still kind of pretty in um, Bermuda, and she didn't have too much Botox at the time. Now she's like real f man. Her fa like I, I'm honestly like can't even say she's pretty anymore. And I don't want to say the same thing to my sister that's following in her footsteps, but like kind of can't even see her beautiful face anymore either. Good thing though, I spoke to a friend who's a nurse. Whew. Botox takes about four to. Six years to get out of your body, the fillers, all that jazz. Thank God your beautiful faces may or may not be able to return back to the original natural state with the beautiful genes that we were blessed with. Um, okay, back to the drum roll here because my coffee's about to be ready. And the name of the film 
will be. Are you ready for this? It is going to be the cash nut. Usually donut stores are full of cops. Well, this one was just filled with this Karen. FedEx worker calls the cops on a customer after he said a racist comment to her. I want to say, I want you to say it on camera. We look what? We look what? Yeah, foreign. We look foreign. Yeah, yeah. Please send the police. I am American. I was born and raised here. How dare you? How dare you call us foreign? Get that phone out my face. I'm gonna throw it out the store. I'm gonna throw it. Oh, so you're you're threatening me? Get this. Get the flashlight out my face, man. Don't call me foreign. You need to get the out my face. Oh, you you're gonna threaten me? She got on sunshades with red hair. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, what else? Probably like 5'8", weigh about uh, mm -hmm. 180 pounds. Okay. Uh, and she's flashing her phone in my face. Her I'm friend, recording you being xenophobic and threatening me. Suit, right? Yeah. She got on a black, like a black raincoat mm -hmm. with some white Adidas, mm -hmm. all white Adidas, some yep. black pants. Yep. Uh, Go ahead, tell them. And like a black uh, halter top, whatever you call that. So she got on a black raincoat with a black halter top, mm -hmm. and some black jeans, and some white Adidas. Okay. And they're foreign. We're not yeah, foreign. In Middle Eastern as well. I told you we Middle are Eastern American. We are not foreign. Uh, he had on a black black okay. jacket with white stripes. It's good to know. And black pants with a white. Stripe. I hope FedEx is ready for a lawsuit. And I hope you're ready yeah, to lose you your job. For your print job. I hope you're ready to lose your job. So you just admitted uh, that it's because we're different, because you thought we were foreign. That's why you were treating us that way. Uh, okay. Karen's always seem to have issues with expiring coupons. Like, it clearly states on the coupon itself when it expires. This is not hard. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. You just said you want to punch me in my mouth. No, but then come punch me. Come doing it. Come doing it. You just threatened me. I'm doing my job. You just threatened me. I'm doing my job. We cannot leave this Karen out because her meltdown is just too good not to show. Oh God, no, it's you, it's you, uh-uh, uh-uh, now you are, oh my God, you, oh my God, uh, uh, do you see this? Oh my God, I'm not, 
I never thought nothing like this would happen to me. She just tried to run and hit me. And now she... Did you see her? You saw her, right? They all saw her. Oh, my God. Karen had a breakdown. She tried to hit me. Ask your workers. She tried to hit me. She tried to hit me. Now I want security for you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You should have thought about that before you did what you did. Oh my God, this shit don't even feel real. This do not feel real. Y'all can have to get security. She she charged me. If I wanted to duck, she would. Oh no, no. Oh no, you just wanted security for me, right? I want security for you now. No, don't cry. You, no, no, no. I want you to call security. I thank you. I just came to get my free panty. You know how you get the coupon in the mail, and I got to pick up my Converse boots from Nordstrom. I don't know why this is happening to me. I, don't charge me. Oh, you wanna? Oh, yeah, she. No! I'm scared to even approach her. You're scaring me. Like you gotta go postal. No, why don't she walk away from me? No, I was here. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. Why don't I walk away from her? Why don't she get away from me? She could get away. Go wherever you want to go. This is crazy. Yeah, because. Did you have two yoga mats? No, I had one. We was trying to just find a price check for one of them. Just one I had. Okay, I'm going to leave her here, Pess. I, I, actually, you know, um, I have a coupon for the free panty, mm -hmm. and it says everyone is excluded except for the period panty, but I actually wanted to see what that was. I can show you. Okay. This Karen, or Kevin, who knows, is too good not to show humid and in the 80s right now we'll do a time and temperature check it's half past a monkey's ass quarter till his trying to record my business. what why are you recording? i ain't recording your business shut up and get in your car and leave you know what you, you too yeah i got one too good you're shouldn't tell the people your habits <laughs> dude it's like you to make me gay <laughs> that's hilarious Oh, <laughs> uh, we got a Karen. She's a Karen. You would think this would be over something big, but it was legit just over a passport.
Reserving car spaces aren't allowed, especially in a public car park. Well, for Karens, they think they can by standing in them. Holding the spot. Holding the spot down. Holding the spot down. All right, Look James. at this. Is this even, can yeah. you even do this? Look. You must not be there's a, there's a, there's a parking spot right here. Look at this. Don't can you believe this? Me. Look at this lady don't holding the spot. Don't look at this. Look at don't, this. Don't look, at, look at this lady in the spot. Yeah. Look at this. Yep. Look at this. Sure. Hello, there's a spot open here. And look, this, look at this lady holding the spot. Yep. Without a car. Look at this. Yep. Are you a I'm car not. lady? No. Can you get out of the spot no, so I can park? I'm not. Can you get out of the, you can't hold a spot, I can, lady. I can do what I want to do. All right, the police station's right up there. I agree with you about the parking spot. Look at this. He's coming around the corner with my car. He wants the parking spot. He don't see me with a car. So he's arguing with me about a parking spot. I'm here. Look, I'm here first. Where's your car? You're not you can't. Here first. You, you sound can't. Stupid. You can't hold the parking spot with yourself. Where's your car? Is holding the spot down. Look at this. Holding the spot down. Holding the spot down. You can't reserve parking, lady. You're gonna let me park or not? You're gonna let me park or leave? You're gonna leave. You know what? I don't got time for this bull, but I got you on camera here. Look at this. Look at me. Hey, look. You can't reserve parking for a pub public Shut parking. Up. Spot. I'm going All right? Back to way. Go you back can't. To you go can't. Go you go. can't reserve go a parking spot. You can't reserve a parking spot unless you're not car. Your car's not here. I've been waiting in my car for 15 minutes trying to park. This lady is standing here reserving a parking spot. Oh, good, 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 good. What'd you just say? Hey, hey, I was recording. What'd you just say? That's city people, New York City people. No, no. What'd you just say? No, 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 no. Holding spots, holding spots. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. The car, you're not. I'm here with the car, and you're not. I don't have time for this, but what'd you say about what? What'd you say? Go back to what? What'd you say? Huh? Huh? What'd you say? Huh? Huh? What'd you say? Hey, what'd you say? You trying to be? You trying to pull that game now? Huh? All right. I got you. I got you recording everything, anyways. It was recording when you said that. All right. We have come across another racist Karen. So you guys come here very often. My name's Amanda Manson. You ever hear of Charlie Man? Trying something on over your leggings shouldn't be such a big deal, but this next Karen, oh, for her it was. She did not change her clothes. She was, she was horrified. She was the look on her horrified. face when she looked at me. Don't Ida, tell I me was how my horrified. daughter was. My daughter was completely fine. She said, "Can I just change did right you here?" Think that I said, having yes, your child you can. Get, get down to changing clothes in public is okay for your child. I happen she to think was it is in horrible. leggings. Do you know it what leggings are? Horrible. Do you know what leggings are? All right, ma'am. Are here. you stupid? Do you know what leggings are? Are you stupid? Why do you act stupid? Act stupid? You are acting You're stupid. You're talking to your employees like my daughter was back there she naked. She was. 
she was, she was, she was not. But she, she was in leggings and changing clothes. She was in leggings not and a sweater. Not appropriate. She tried on a pair of not pants over her pants. Not appropriate. That is appropriate. Not appropriate. How is that not appropriate? Have you seen the people that shop in this store? The skeezy men that shop in I this don't store? Care. The skeezy women. She was care. in you leggings don't care and a sweater. That you're exposing leggings your child to skeezy I wasn't exposing my child to anything. Yeah. Don't talk to me about my parenting. Yeah. I was not exposing my parenting. That was, yeah. That was not it a good call. It absolutely is not. not I am an incredible call. parent. I don't even not care. Your opinion means nothing. Not a good I'm call. just telling you. If my she was not means back nothing, there because you you're talking to all your employees about it. I, I do, watched you. I do teach so, them how to handle She was situations. not naked. She was in Ma leggings. Shut the up. Here. I don't need you yelling at me. I will be calling corporate. I don't need you yelling I will be calling corporate. And I will let them know that you had your daughter changing her clothes on the floor. This Kevin is not at all happy about the administrator's response after he decided to change his reservation that he booked. We have two kids, two adults. Yeah. The reservation on our phone is clear, what we reserved. Yeah. What do you expect us to do? Well, with that one, we could get you checked in. It came in as a king suite reservation, so it has a king bed and a sofa pull-out couch. What do you expect us to do? We, we, we have two kids and us. We can't all sleep in a king bed. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's just, it's the way that Booking.com sent us the reservation, so all that we have is that, and we're sold out for tonight. Okay, I get that. So what do you expect us to do? That's my question. Well, that's what I'm saying. It. Yes, so we could either check you into the room, or we could cancel the reservation. That's the only two and options. And sleep in our car? Do you have no, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, where else are we going to go? Are there any other Holiday Express hotels you can check us into? Is I don't have the power to do that, but there are Holiday Inn Expresses in Bloomington. If you're not going to help us, you're going to say, take the room as it is, or you're on your own. What I can do to help you guys is get you guys checked into the room that has the king bed and the sofa pullout couch. But apart from that, we don't have any other rooms to check you guys into. If it's regarding what you guys reserved, you would have to call booking.com so that they could assist you with something that happened on their end. But this is just the information that we've received from booking.com. Who hasn't checked in? What else is available? We're at four beds. We don't have any other rooms available. Who hasn't checked in yet? These rooms are reserved. I can't take them from somebody that's already reserved a room. You gave somebody our room, right? The way it was supposed to be reserved? No, because we held the room that we had the information for, which is the King Suite. That's what Booking.com sent over to us. So we kept that room for you guys. How did you think? Four people would fit in that room. I mean, when, when, when you see it come in, don't you go, hmm, this doesn't make sense. No, because booking.com sends us the information, so that's the reservation, and we hold it as it is. So you think, so you think four of us can sleep in that room? That's your suggestion. I, I'm not too sure how you guys were going to you know, do the setup in there. We just have the reservation as it was sent in to us. Now watch as he finds out that not everything he wants will happen. And you have no other alternatives to solve it? We're completely sold out for tonight. <clears throat> I'm just stepping in, but you have a king bed and a pull off bed, right? Yeah. You have two beds and four yeah. kids. Two kids and us. And it's, it's none of your business either. What are you doing uh -huh. jumping into this? It's not well, a, look, I mean, saying, I don't I'm think that it's... it's none of your business. I'm I, it's, too bad. Okay, you know, yeah, shut it. Uh, that's not really respectful. I think we can just go ahead and cancel your reservation. Then what are we going to do? You know, I'm not too sure, but there are a lot of hotels in the area. Why don't you just sit tight for a second? I will. I'll be here till 11. We'll cancel if there's no penalty. Yeah, we can cancel. Um, if there's with, no penalty. Booking.com gonna charge us? No, but you just gotta give a call to Booking.com and let them know that you want to cancel, and then there's no penalty. Okay, call Booking.com. What's the, what's, do you know what the cancellation terms are? Is there a 24 hour notice? Is there... They could tell you. We're not paying for two rooms. We'll hold it until we call Booking.com and cancel it. Yep. Thank you. Hi. We have come across to Karen, who is insecure and tells this lady off for apparently looking at her boyfriend. Yeah, just a passing glance. 
totally worth freaking out about. I am, and I come in here to look. First of all, I don't come in here to look at your man. Let's just start there. So if you want to press me about being insecure about who's looking at your man, it's not insecurity. Look, look, look. There, I'm going to just wait, wait, just that. Okay, babe, I'll come so, back. I love you. Okay, no, I just want you to look at it from my because I hear you, and I, I apologize because it sounds like you don't even know what I'm talking about. I really don't. So I came so, in with my man that day, right? We were walking to the elevator, and you look, I gave you a smile. Did you I look, smile I saw back? both of us. Did you I saw back? both of us. You said what? Did I smile back? Yeah, you were looking exactly. at me. You were like, yeah, okay. So after that, then I came down here to finish out my workout. And then we were done, and he brought that up, and I was like, oh, did she have braces? I saw you walk past, and you were, like, you slowed down, like, right up the corner there, and you, like, wiped your butt like that. And I understand it has to get worked out, so, but I was like, why would she slow down right there? Like, I'm standing right there. She's seen us both walk in together. So I'm just trying to paint the picture. Just doing the job that you were called for shouldn't be such a big issue. In fact, I dare say it should be encouraged. However, when this Karen is the customer, apparently it is. Well, I don't care. I, I'm the customer. I don't care. Right, I don't care. I mean, I, I, I'm going to put everything back together. Uh, I don't care. Put everything back together. Get the off my property. Or I can drag you off my property, too. And don't think it's because I'm a woman. I can't do it. Because a woman brought you into this world, unfortunately. Yeah, but all we do is come out here and try to Well, help. you try to help, that's fine. But no, no, but when somebody puts words in my mouth, I don't play that game. You you come okay, to so help. Let me, let me you don't you something. come to help. She don't come to put words in your mouth. And you shut your mouth right there too, or I can get the Go police ahead. and get you off our property. Let's Go ahead and put your load nuts back on. Get 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 the get the hell off. You want me to put it back together? Or? No, I want you to get the hell off. Get the hell off. Or I could drag you off if you want that, because this is my property. And in the state of Georgia, there's a lot you can do when you want somebody off your property. Sir, do you want me to put this tire back on? Put it on and get the off. Okay. There ain't no way to scream. I will show you how it is. You and my world, when you cross that threshold, you and my world, buddy. Don't worry. Let me go get my socks that way I can actually put it back on. That doesn't work for me. Put it back on and get off. Let somebody else what they're doing. They don't act like they know what they're doing. They're coming that up with something. Your key is wrong. The locking key that you have is wrong. Talk to this me. This goes for this, you fool. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. There's a lock on your gut blood This is the lock that goes on your gut blood Just tighten them up. Tighten it up and get the out. <laughs> Still making yourself look more stupid, and I have to belittle you more. Talking. Yeah, keep talking, buddy. Keep talking. Not kidding your mother that pushed you into this world. Sorry, but I don't have one. Well, I don't have one either. I don't have one either. So you shut the f up. But you remember what pushed you into this world, woman. So you show some damn respect. You ain't got much to you with that. No matter if you got another or not, you ain't got no respect on you. That don't say much. Now she decides to start calling him names. Don't say much. Don't say much. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I don't. You come to help me. You don't come to scold me. You, you know, you look. You're not my father. Let's just know that. If I want to have an attitude with somebody, that's my right. You didn't raise me. Now, I, I listen, honey, I'm not no pushover. I'll put a man where a man needs to be. You pick the wrong f on that. You are, you, you come into the wrong threshold for that. You just some goddamn respect you cross my threshold. Or you get the goddamn hell out. You got to help. You don't come to school. You keep your mouth shut and you do your job. That's what you get. That's what you get into him. And Mercedes is gonna hear about this tip that you'll never so they'll never use your company again. You little because I'm you know, I don't give a goddamn what I think I does. You down there doing the work, so you shut the up. You said you come to do the work, do the work, and shut the up. I'm not doing it. That's the thing. I'm going to put the tire back on. Put the tire back on. You shut the up. That's, that's what the tire ain't getting. I mean, not for real. Okay, if you, 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 if you
Even though he went through all that with the customer, he apologizes to her and was yelled at even more. Get the out of here. Someone enjoying their birthday should be fine. But in a Karen's massive handbook, that's a big fat no. What well, things aren't a no in a Karen's handbook? Let's be real. Like, should we just have a list? Trick question this video is the list. Subscribe for more. Yeah. Causing a scene over a refund is a bit much. However, this Karen thought otherwise. When an onlooker comes to see if she's okay, she starts to film her. Like she's not doing anything wrong. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right? Poor employees. They don't get paid enough for this. This group of people paid to rent out the water park. However, this Karen didn't feel comfortable with these kids. We had a Because we're black. 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 It seems like Karens are never too far away from airports these days, but poor passengers have to deal with them. This Karen destroys a high school memorial for a passing student and tells them that they had their day to mourn yesterday. Now this is just a low blow, even for a Karen. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Why are you breaking up? That's where it's staying. If you want a vigil, it'll be over there. That's crazy. You're bending across, my boy. That's where it's going. You're bending across, my boy. Just take a look at this next racist Karen who claims this group of friends doesn't belong in America. Why do you make comments like that? You come from our country and you want You just said you're free. Mexican. How, how, how does that make sense? I'm this a Mexican-American. I was born what here. What makes you think that we are not Americans? Were you Americans? born here? Were what born makes here? you think that because we are not? Because of the way you speak. Because I'm, I'm a Mexican-American, but and I speak to you. English. The you're the country. one who came and talked to me. I'm she talking with my friends. Like everywhere I go, you Indians everywhere. If life was so great in India, why the f are y'all here? Turn your camera off, I'm happy to talk. Turn it off. No, why should I turn it off? You're the one who came and talked to me. She doesn't stop her racial slurs there. Shut up. I didn't even talk to you. I did not talk to you. Do not turn the camera off. Go back to your car. I am. Go back to your car. Don't go back to your car. Go back to your car. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me to do what to do. Turn the phone off. Or just, shut, just shut up. You shut up. You shut up. Being rich does not give you the right to be rude. However, this Kevin thinks otherwise. Three miles an hour for one. Yeah. And you're dumber than a box of rocks. You're not wearing a helmet. I'll call a cop on you, buddy. One. All right, go for it. What did he do no wrong? Here. He's doing 50 miles an hour. 50 on, miles an hour. On a bike? He's doing 10 miles an no, hour. Wasn't, Shit, just drive off. Just, just, just drive off. Oh, just on. drive off. Stop. Call the cops. Call the cops right now. What are you doing? Sons of bitches. Stop. I happen to be one of the guys on board. Okay. Do you want to be fined? I can do that. Are you getting, why are you getting our face for it? Because this damn thing is doing too it's fast. It's too stroke. I don't, like, I don't care what it 30. is. I don't care what it is. We have little kids. So stop being dramatic. I'm not. Well, you stop dramatic. being dramatic. How? We're not going 50. You were doing 50. <laughs> 50, oh, right. Two stroke. Two yeah, stroke on a 50. That, that doesn't even go 50. Yeah, right. That doesn't even go 50. That goes 
15. Oh, the bullshit. Don't keep that speed down. Whoever lives here or whoever owns this will be fine. Okay. Because I'll make sure that it happens. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Okay. You seem like the type. Yeah, I am the type. Yeah, I guess you. Stop yeah. it. And put a helmet on your head. No, we don't shit. have helmets. Bye. You're going to go buy a helmet. Bye. You don't got money. Okay, buddy. You asked for it. I got your license, sir, so you should just leave. Alright, I will. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah, Yeah. no one asked. You wouldn't think that handing something into the cops would create drama, but wait until you run into a Karen cop. Oh no. Oh no. If there's one group of people that should definitely not be trusted with power, it's Karen's. How's it going, officer? So we both got, uh, we've got YouTube channels and we basically film everything that we find magnet fishing in the canals around here. My girlfriend came across a pistol while she was down there. Okay, for you to put me on YouTube means I need to sign a release to do that and I'm not doing that. It's the for first you to put me amendment. on something that you might gain money from is against the law. Now, I'd like to perform a duty. We have a weapon that you found or something? Yeah, yes, right sir. Yes, right that's right. Here. Can you leave it there and can you turn that off, please? I'm sorry, sir, but according to my attorney, I've talked to my attorney several times. He's, he's not trying to make a problem. We're trying to turn in something to you, sir. Okay, I'll come over and I'll take it. Okay. So if I get another unit here. We'll let him okay, go. Sir. Like, could I have your name and badge number, sir? Right there on there. Right there. You can stay over there, please. Well, I'm trying to find your name, name and badge number, I sir. Get over there, when I have another officer here, I'll be happy to let you see it up close. You say that you respect me for what I do, I would like to actually show that. Residential pools are open to anyone living in the facility. But this Karen didn't like that this man was enjoying his time. What up? Uh, we got another police officer after I showed her my key to up here. I had to kick me in my own damn pool. $1,600 and What's your badge number? That's my question. And Candace, yeah, tell her she loop it. Now tell her she look dumb. Tell her she look dumb because I told her, showed her my key. She didn't have to come over. I'm over here. Yeah, but I told her. She, but listen, hold up. First of all, the question that you asked me was, do I live here? I said yes. Then you asked me what my, my address was. I showed you my key. What more of a conversation needs to be held? Am I, like seriously, what more of a conversation do I need to do? But I'm saying, you need to answer her question. I did answer her question. I did. I told why do I need to give this lady who I don't know my address? I don't know her. I don't know if that's a fake badge. What do you mean? I don't usually, I'm saying just seriously, just and and just think about it from my perspective. Just think, yes, but you just came over here and, and ruined my alone time in my. Shane. Yes. It's only for residents. Yes. I showed her my key. What else did I have to do, Candace? Oh, yeah. What else did I have to do? With, she didn't walk over there. She didn't walk. Are you going to walk over there? No, you haven't. You ain't been over here in the last hour. You know, you. Yeah. And looked at everything with her. Plus, your mom's purse is in the office. I don't know if you want to take that. Oh, I was going to walk over to her. I thought y'all was close. So I was going to get it tomorrow. But, like, I don't, I mean, this is, like, I don't, I, I just don't feel like I'm welcome. You know what I mean? Like, she just walked over here and just literally looked right at me. Like, yo, he's not, you know what I mean? And I just showed her my key. I literally showed her my key. At that point, I feel like there's no more conversation in me. Here. And I wasn't here. I, I, yeah, it was probably 30 minutes and I was here. I've been sitting out here since, honestly, I don't care to hear you talk if you want me to. Why do I have to leave my pool? Did I? She don't live here. Do you, you live here? There is a sign that says that I can ask for anybody. To leave but for anybody. what? But for why am I leaving? I literally have been sitting here not doing. Literally just got over here. But you, you, do you, I feel threatened. Honestly, I feel. I don't feel like I'm. I already came out here with her, and I have looked at everybody. I'm just saying. I go showed her my key. I haven't showed her. I have been here for. I just left the gym. I literally just left the gym and sat over. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. That's cool. Why can't I show you my key and say, and that's it? Why can't I show you? But if I if I have my key, I could have made up a number and she would have said what? Why is it that you get Is if I have my key, do I need to show that I've proved to live here? Like I have my key. I'm showing you my key. I don't know you. I don't know. Why am I giving you my? Because you have a piece of paper and a bag. I'm I'm cool. I'm oh I've literally been sitting there. I haven't bothered anybody. I haven't said a word to anybody. I literally just sat over here. I left the gym. I'm trying to cool off. Like what the hell? I understand. I really I really would love to speak to. I don't. I don't know her, and she's asking where I live. I don't give a. I don't care who is officer. I don't. You don't. You know, black people die because of officers. I'm saying. I'm just saying. Seriously, I'm not talking about you specifically. I don't know you. I'm not telling you where I live. 
I don't know you. I don't know you. You literally. Okay. Can I tell you what just? What I just? Can I tell you? Can I tell you what I just saw? I just saw. Can I tell you? Can I tell you what I just saw? I literally just watched you. Watch you walk out of here and walk to the first person you, you saw. Of. I. But I was. Hey, think from my perspective. Think, think from my perspective. Don't think. Think from my perspective. I just showed you my key. I just showed you my key. I showed you my key. I showed you my key. I. You gonna take my key out of my hand now? All right. Well, you're gonna give me another one. You're gonna give me another one then. I'm not gonna give, I'm not leaving. Why am I leaving? I literally, I just paid my rent to be here for the next month, at least the next month. I'm not, I have not said anything to, I literally have been over here and I haven't said anything to anybody. You can ask any of these people in the pool. I don't know her. She's asking me where I live. She's asking my address. Why? I don't know her. She has a badge. What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything to me. I don't get, oh, you think I care about a police officer? Are you serious? Me? Come on. Can I? my key back please I asked what your address was you would not give that to me I don't know you I'm literally telling you I don't know you why am I giving you my address I showed you my proof of residency did I not show if I'd have showed you her my if I'd have showed her most Karens think everything will go their own way however this Karen learns that it is not always the case how long do I have to go to these places I've been to every one of them do I have to be handcuffed my husband lied. Uh -oh. He's hurt me. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So listen, he's the one who's been to jail, and why am I handcuffed? So listen, right now you're handcuffed for your safety and their safety and our safety, okay? So let's just talk to me first. Talk to me first, okay? Jesus. I bow my head so before you, and I ask you. I'm gonna check your blood pressure real quick, okay? No, Kelly, take okay, it. I've been checked from one end to the other. See if I'm pregnant at 66 years old. It's possible, man. Well, I know it is. He tried to do it in my ear and my face and put it all over me. How would you like to have cup poured yeah. all over you? Stop. There's a child right there. Stop. Well, maybe that child needs to hear about it. Nope. He, Jesus. Now, it's no shock why this Karen was given a trespassing order. Check it out. I went back um, after I found the no trespassing order that I got from the school. You want to hear something? I'm suing the country school. I'm suing Roseau County School. I'm shutting that whole entire school. Amy McGuire, principal, Roseau Elementary School. Guess what, Amy? You're never going to be able to work in elementary ever again when I'm done with you. I want to say that you're a principal, kids. I just fucking broke my bracelet. That's how angry I am. You wanna f lie, Miss McGuire? Do you wanna f lie? Do you? Let's look at this no trespassing order. Why do I? Not checking in an elementary office of noticing us of your visits in advance. That wasn't the agreement stores should be allowed to sell pretty much anything oh however this kevin harasses an employee and shoppers over a pride shirt oh i hope they do hey do you guys support the satanic pride propaganda i, I yeah both you support it satan you say, and pride you support satan mm -hmm. what's god gonna think of that i don't believe in god don't, so you Did think you, need help with something? you support the propaganda that's targeting the kids? Uh, there's nothing targeting kids. All it's all over kids TV shows. It's all over. They're targeting kids. The kids can choose to wear whatever they want. Do you support the sexualization of kids through pride propaganda by sir, corporate? Is there something that we can help you with? I'm just asking people questions. What about you, sir? Do you, do you I'm support not this? Any questions, but if you're here to cause any disturbance in the store, I'm just asking questions. Do you yeah, work? Do you work for the target? Disrupting. Do you work yes, for the target? I do actually. Where's your name tag? I, I am the undercover loss prevention. Oh, okay. So, I'm just asking questions. So, do you support the satanic propaganda? I'm not like answering your questions. What you need to do is you either need to leave the store. God will judge you guys. Okay. I mean, I can't. You won't if I don't believe in it. And also, is that our shirt? Yeah, it is. Are you going to purchase that shirt? Hey, ma'am, do you support this? What did yes, I just stop. say? You support pride propaganda? Stop, Whoa, I'm buying, buying this. this. I need you to, you're, Whoa, let you go, just said you're not buying it. I'm going to buy it and burn it. Okay, that's your choice. You can totally do that. Well, what I said is you need to leave. You can't ask anybody any more questions. You can't disrupt Freedom any of speech. Call the police. Do you want me to call? Yeah, them? call them. Okay. Trespass me. I don't care, dude. 
Clearly. You think I care if you trespass? I've done this no, a thousand we times. Never, we never said that. You're, you guys are satanic. True. Wait. See, open satanic. That open sa satanist, guys. That's what we're gonna get up against. It's open satanist. Like her. I'm just anti anyone. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Do you no. do you support pride? No. You can't disrupt any yeah, more guests. You need, you to, need stop. to leave. Sorry. Sir, do you support the satanic pride propaganda? Just, sir. He doesn't. He just doesn't care to talk to someone so hateful and judgmental. To be honest, I'm quite happy. Hey, to excuse work me. Do you guys support this? They do. Do you guys support the so propaganda? We, yeah. yeah. You do? Yeah. So you can please. It's satanic, man. Please ignore it. Do you know what the real rainbow stands for? You can just continue. The real, the real no, rainbow is from him. God. The real rainbow is from God. Okay. I forgot to take your crazy meds today, sir. Sir, are you doing self-checkout? Sir, are you doing Hey, sir, do you support this propaganda? Ignore him. Ignore. Ignore him. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you support Sorry. it or no? No, get out of here. Yeah. Asking questions. Are you going to purchase that or not? Sir? Hey, sir, do you support this propaganda? I need you to stop. Huh? I need you to stop. Okay. Are you gonna purchase this shirt, your little propaganda shirt, or not? Hey, ma'am, do you support this? You're not. Gonna be do you support Pride? Everybody here does. You should probably move somewhere else. Paying for your taxi is a must. Well, this Karen thinks otherwise. She didn't pay. It's okay. Just feel good. I was there the whole time. Why don't you? They have been traveling for 16 hours. Why don't you pay? I'm at the Marriott Courtyard. You didn't pay. Box. She's a piece of Here's the money. What the hell for? Oh, who the hell? Doing a job for a client that happens to be a Karen must be extremely difficult. Especially if they start saying racial slurs like this next one does. Let's see. Do their job. No, you're not. You told them that you wanted 200 extra dollars. I have. I think you could do with whatever you, you want. Them. Are you lying now? I'm not lying. You didn't hire me. You didn't hire me. You did 200 extra dollars. Get out of my country. Oh, that's great. I'm done with you. Hey, just hey. Great. Hey. That was perfect. Can I have you? I can have you. That's perfect. No, no, don't worry. You don't need to take anything out. You don't need to take anything out. Watch as she starts accusing them for assaulting her. Keep talking. Gotcha video. Okay. All right. The police have your license plate. Don't worry. You didn't hire me. I'm going to wait for them. Right? I'm actually going to call them. That's fine. 
I did nothing to you. I hired a service. Uh, wait. I hired a service. Don't worry. I have you here. That's right. And I hired a service. Good. I have you here. Don't worry about it. I'm going to wait for them right now. That's fine. <laughs> you didn't hire me. So just put, keep that in mind. I'm gonna make you famous. I am going to make you famous. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call them right now. Si, sí, yo le hablo ahorita. I'm gonna call them right now. Si, sí, gracias. You should be allowed to do anything in your own backyard. However, when you have a Karen as a neighbor, it's a completely different story. Is this a family house? Oh, it's a family home. Yeah, it is okay. a family home. Yeah. Okay, it's good to know. Yeah, it's a family yeah. home. Okay. But also, what, what, was the, your family? what was the We're thing about when there was a swim shorts over there? What was the problem? Do I need to be staring at underwear? Well, why are you looking shorts? at the house, though? Why what? It's why? outside her window, man. Why am I yeah. looking at the house? I eat dinner right there, staring yeah. at underwear. I look, look at the underwear. Look somewhere else? Yeah. Wrong answer. You're telling okay. me to look somewhere else Listen. when I've lived here longer than you guys? But no, why, now I, at your now house? I, do I look at your house? You know though? what? You guys, you guys never come outside. You do. You never. Well, yeah, like when you guys, we were going to bed and my son's outside saying you guys are out there talking and shit, I told him to okay? say, shut up. This is this is a private neighborhood. Keep, keep, keep okay. recording it. You guys yeah, are I running will, I am recording, recording it because Think you know what? Now I'm calling the cops. There's a lot of people you're pissing off. Okay. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me. There's a lot of people. No, you're off. Yeah. Me off. So I'm sorry. No, I just wanted to having neighbors like these when going through hard times. Oh boy, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Hey, hey, hey! Mama, Mama. Why would you guys even do that? Y'all ain't got no respect for nobody. Why would you listen? Come listen, y'all. Okay, so I'm recording. They're saying that we're in front of their house. Hold on. They saying we're in front of their house. It's my daddy's funeral. It's my daddy's funeral, and they're over here recording us and arguing with us, and he do this all the time. All the time they do this. All the time they do this. As y'all can see, we are not in front of their house. We are not in front of their house. It's my daddy's funeral today, and this is what they're doing. Like, come on now. And I called and told my landlord it was my daddy's funeral. So come on, go. As y'all see, we are not in front of their house. Y'all, they pick at me all the time. Like literally, they pick at me all the time. Look at this, I want y'all to see, we are not blocking, no driving. You don't need to aggravate. Like this is ridiculous. Karen's overreact at the slightest inconvenience. Like this next one that gets mad at a cashier all because she didn't get her biscuits and gravy. This is why you have to eat before you go grocery shopping. Would your manager mind um, come and giving us an explanation why I can't add something or purchase another order when I've done it here a hundred times? I can understand if y'all were busy, but I mean like there is not. I'd like an explanation why I couldn't buy biscuits and gravy with my mobile order that I'd have to go back around when I've added stuff to an order before at this McDonald's because I work right down the road. And I can understand if y'all were loaded with freaking people, okay. but I mean, your order was finalized, like yeah, no, I wanted to purchase them yeah, you could with the purchased. order. But the order was already paid. But we wanted I know, to but make I a wanted separate to add order. It as a separate order, and I would pay cash. Have and he told me I had to drive all the way back around to do that. Yeah. I don't know why he told you that, but because he said you said that. I did not say I've been cleaning all night. Yeah. Well, that's what he said. My manager said you would have to. Wow. Well, I mean, I come to this Donald's all the time. I work right down the street. Yes. Never had that problem yeah, I really ever. That. So the can. I'm not trying to scream at you. I'm sorry. It's just aggravating. It's very aggravating to me. When hey, no, no, no. This whole situation is rude because we're the customer. He shouldn't have said that to us. I knew he had said that to you. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Can I get? Yes, you can. Them. You just like scream at me and make me like really upset. I mean, I do my job. 
I understand I that. Like you're cleaning. I understand it's that. You and well, I then I would say that the problem is inside and your store there. Okay. Cool. Well, then he needs to be told that you know you can do. I mean, I didn't. We didn't want to like add it on to. You know what I mean? I was like, can I order them? And we pay asked for them? him twice. And he said no. And I asked him twice. Yeah, you can purchase something else. And he said no. I'd have to go drive all the way back yeah. around and order again. I never knew there was a rule that you must put your dog on a leash in your own backyard. <laughs> but Karens don't have to. You know what? You go and get yourself help. Yeah, I will. You need it. I'll Come get on. help. I'm getting rid of my stupid, crazy neighbor. Oh, get your dog away from mine. Uh, this is my yard, you stupid. No, your dog has got to be on a leash. Really? He's standing in my yard. But he's supposed to be on a leash. Come on, Aiden. Let's go. Yeah, Aiden. Take your barking in the house. You know what? Watch your language. Watch your language. I'm 41, Patty. I don't care. You're I'm 41. You can take all your pictures. You get your dog away from mine. Shut the f up. Your dog is not even on a leash. You're right, because he ain't doing shit in my yard. Oh, you know what? has to be on a leash according to my vet on, <laughs> look how here. my dog is being you stupid you know what your That's dog is barking me. acting a fool my dog is wagging his tail yeah. this is our yard i don't care what you say he needs to be in a fenced yard or he needs to be why be your dog's in a, you're the one that needs a fence yard your dog be attacking people oh he has not bubba a loves everybody except like you and your dog shouldn't have an owner like you well guess what he has somebody that protects him oh, oh, good. so you my dog you with me babe, what babe, no this stupid babe. going to the bathroom should not land you facing a karen in fact i dare say you should have the most privacy in a bathroom of all the places to not be disturbed by a karen i would say in the restroom is probably one of the most likely places however <laughs> for this lady she just ran straight into this karen's trap called out several times for being in the men's room. Okay. And you're going to be called out for whatever you're doing. So what are you identifying as today? I don't think that's any of your business. Okay. It's not. So you're in the ladies' room where I think I need to identify you. You do not need to identify me. Is that right? How old yeah. are you? doesn't matter. Really? Okay. So we'll look for the place to come and get you rid of. Okay. Let's make sure the police Yeah, because this is not the way you play your Go down on the strip and try to do it there. I Don't do it up here. Is this is a suburb. Not allowed. Mm -hmm. Not allowed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think you're gonna be a woman when I, it's okay, and be a man when it's okay. No, no. Figure out your identity in your bedroom, uh -huh. okay? okay? And then project it on everybody else and we'll accept it. Uh -huh. This is not acceptable. Let's go get security. 
Yes, yeah, so let's do the rest. Um, she's harassing me for being in the bathroom. What's going on? Well, I'm asking her what her identity is. It's my girlfriend. So hold on, yes, we'll it's your you girlfriend. Yeah, so it's a girl. Have to have Doesn't matter. Step back. Usually, tourists get attacked by Karens. Well, this tourist was getting attacked by another tourist, Kevin. English? Why are you in Poland? Why are you filming me? Because uh, I'm from America, and in America, no, give you it, give so in, Sorry, in America, there's too many of you guys here. So why are you in Poland? Why are you here? Do you think that you just can invade Poland? You have your own country. How come you don't go back to your own country? Why don't you go back to your own country? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why don't you go back to India? Are you from India? Sir, just answer. I just want to know. I can film you. It's a, it's a, no, this is my country. I'm European. And Europeans want to know why you think you have the right to invade our country. Why are, you, why are your people invading our homelands? You have India. Why are you coming to the white man's land? to take off from, from, our, from our hard work. Why don't you build your own country? Why don't you build your own country? Why are you, why are you being a parasite? Do you think it's okay for you to invade Europe? You're genociding our race. You're an invader. You're an invader. You're an invader. Go home, invader. Go home. We don't want you in Europe. We don't want you in Europe. We don't want you here. Poland for Polish only. Poland for Polish only. You're not Polish. You're not Polish. No, you're not Polish. You're not Polish. Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you invading our homelands? Why are you in Europe? Why are you in Europe? You can be here, but you won't. When I want to ask you. No, no. Stop invading our country. Go home. Go home. No, you should feel uncomfortable for invading our place. No, f you. No, f you. No, f you. No. Why? No, you should feel ashamed. Your people are invading America. Okay, You're invading don't, Europe. You don't, need to go home. Okay, don't film me. No, I will film you. This is my country. Go home. This is Europe. This is Europe. Okay, then. This is not. Then. Well, then what? I'm not here alone. Many people. Yeah, why? I'm not here alone. We don't need tech Many support. We don't need tech support. Go home to India. You're f***ing up Europe. Okay. No. He continues to harass the tourist even though the guy has tried to remove himself from the situation. This guy is f***ing up Europe and he should be called out that your people are ruining Europe. Think that you can over our nation. Huh? Why? You can over Europe, but you won't go back to India. You should apologize to Europe. You should apologize for your people. Look at me. Look at me. You're an invader. You're an invader. Go home. Go home. Go home, invader. Get out of Europe. Leave. Invader, go home! Karen has continuously been harassing her neighbors, and now she was caught on camera doing this. Look at her. No, yeah, she's pouring trash on the property. You wanna wait for the police? No, we got a job to do. She's crazy.
<laughs> she don't have no job. She don't have no job. <laughs> she put all this trash right here. Now she's waving at me. I think she's mentally insane. <laughs> Walking into a store just to start an altercation is a bit far, you would have thought. However, this Kevin shows us otherwise. So, I'm going to my favorite store, Murphy's. So, at Murphy's, I'm going to talk about soulless rejects again. Soulless rejects are so mindless, they don't understand that therapy is for someone good. So, they always think, my head is messed up, I'm going into therapy. They say, hold it, pump the brakes there, little happy soulless NPC. <laughs> we will just pump the brakes. If you go to therapy, you have to be a good person. The whole premise of therapy is you're a good person, and then you have someone under you who's going to shine. It's like when you don't have a soul, you're just full of garbage. It's like you're not even a diamond in the rough, it's just all garbage. So, if you go to therapy, if you go to therapy when you're able to bigot others, when you're able to go into animal survival mode, that's going to collapse your brain. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as you realize you never thought about that before. Therapy is for someone good. You have to be a good person to cry for yourself. <laughs> when your brain gets broken and you think you can go to therapy, and then you can throw insults to protect yourself, that means you got life wrong. Your premises in life is wrong. So when you're that mindless, you are always going to look silly trying to have confidence. You're always going to have confidence. It's like that's the point where you should hurt yourself because you're not a good person. If you go to therapy, you have to be a good person. So you should hurt yourself because you're going to hurt the world around you if you don't. So why would therapy be there to help you so you can hurt the world around you? If that doesn't make sense, explain how it doesn't make sense. <laughs> It's just someone who's a complete worthless a-hole trying to trying to scam their brain and scam well, things for people. Yeah, I'm not. How am I screaming in your ear? How am I screaming in your ear? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not screaming in your ear. How's this screaming? How's that screaming? Now he would be screaming. But that's not you screaming. Go outside after 12 hours working. I yeah, care. I mean, I, that's another thing. Why would I care about your feelings? I'm a grown man. I'm not, I didn't make anything happen. You having that baby mentality is something wrong with you. It's something unfixably wrong with you, thinking other adults should care about your predicament. For you to even talk to me when I'm just making a video here, that kind of shows how screwed up you are as a human being. That's kind of unfixable. Yeah, this is the First this Amendment. First of all, this is the First you Amendment. What are you going to do? You're going to stab yeah, you me? Gonna back off away from Whoa, you're threatening me. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, he's threatening me. I'm not screaming in your ear. Yeah, I call the police. Working in any restaurant is a stressful job, especially when you have Karens that get mad over the smallest inconvenience. They can fire me. They fire me. Man, and you're welcome. And what was your Mar name again? Marley. 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 And they are L-E-Y. Is it M-A-R-L-E-Y? Yes. Got it. Yup, yup. Okay, yup. Go ahead, write a review on Yelp. What are you talking about? Why is writing Yelp? When someone Bye. in the restaurant's eating, you give them their food first, not to the door dash. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye. You too, Raggedy. Yup. Be rude. Oh, rude your customers. That's why you can't get nothing right in the restaurant. Um, you're cute arguing with a high schooler. Oh, that's cool. You're a high schooler. Yep. Shows that shows yep. your demeanor. Yep. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Showing your ID at a bottle shop is normal, and I dare say even expected.
But instead, this Karen shows her platinum card. I think she's being polite. Oh, maybe. She's just tired of listening to the I bet she is, but she should go if she's in line. Definitely. Ma'am, I need your ID. Yeah, I will put my phone number in. I just need your ID. I can and put my phone number in. Everybody ID. gets ID and mine my gets scanned number? every time I'm here. I can put my phone number in right now for you. I'm a lot younger than you. I will definitely do it. And I don't know, I care if you know who I am either. I'll give Facebook's about to know. Karen. Have a great day. What's your name? There's nothing in here for you to ring out. I have American Express as platinum. I bet that's it. You have no product in there because you've given me no ID. Karen, what's your last name? I have a American Express card that's platinum. Watch her reaction as she does the quintessential Karen move and asks for the manager, even though she's talking to the manager. Take yeah. that. There is no product run in without an ID. You want to, you want to have it. Do you I, want to give me an ID? You know give me a manager. manager I right am now. the manager. She is the manager. I don't believe it. I'm here every day. I have to show my ID every day. Just show it. Who the hell you, are you? I'm not Karen. Ma'am. Great. Okay, here's the deal, or I will call the police, okay? You need I to leave. This is going to do you no good. That's a very valid card. Ma'am, there's no put product in, your purse in here then. because you won't give me your ID. Okay, I'll give you my ID right here. Here you go. That's all we had to do. Here you go. All we had to do. There, there you, go. you go. Thank you. I don't mind. Okay. Now you can put your platinum in here. Yes, platinum. Thank you. Cool. It's a platinum. We're all impressed. Sweet. You, you don't know anything They're about it. You look very rich. rich. You do. I, yes, I'm rich. Mm -hmm. you I look am. It. I am rich. I like your slippers. Yeah, You're thank you. Your nappy hair. Yeah, it's really rich. You're done. Remove your card. Thank you. Platinum. Something Bye. you've never seen. Bye, Karen. Yeah, it's really heavy too, Brad. Facebook is gonna love, love you. Have a great day. You just made. <laughs> you just made. I don't care. Right. I don't care. Bye. Have a great I don't day. even tell you bye. Oh. <laughs> You'll sleep right? I forget what I even came in for. Going to the doctors to get your maternity leave note should never turn out like this next clip. What were you thinking about when you got pregnant that you were not going to work? I'm just curious because, like, I've had three kids. I worked up until the second day was born. But am I you? Are you me? Do you know how I feel? Do you know yeah, how that's I feel? why I'm asking. I'm interested to know what you think. I want to know your mindset. So when you got pregnant, what were you thinking about? I was... I was thinking about having a kid. I, I'm confused on where, where, you're, where you're going at. I'm confused, too, because you came in here and I did an assessment and I gave you my best medical advice. Uh-huh. And okay. you didn't like that. But I said that I just wanted to know so I could take it easy these, right. these next two months. And I'm I seven explained months pregnant that and I'm in pain. It's not fraud. If it was, if it was fraud, it the doctor wouldn't be getting me my note right now. Really? Yes. what I read on your chart isn't true. Okay. So I What's know on it's my fraud. chart that's not true? I read on your chart what isn't true because I'm the person who saw you and did the exam. Okay. So it's okay. But do you, so, but how do you know how I feel? How do you know how my body feels inside? Because I stuck my hand in there and checked your okay, cervix. Okay, you checked my cervix, but how do you know how my bones, but how do you know how my, my, my body feels, my legs, my back? How do you know how that feels? How do you know how my nausea feels? How do you know how my cramps feel? Call the police. She already called the police on me once because yes, I, I called her a weirdo. Yes. Look at you. <laughs> This lady is crazy. Call the cops again. Call them. It's okay. Call I got you on video hitting me with that thing in your hand. Well, this next Karen had a little temper tantrum while at the airport. I really feel sorry for this man who had to deal with this next Karen who continues to tell him to get a job even though he explained he couldn't. I got mental You know what? You need to go up to the bluff. You know what? 
Parents love to make assumptions quickly, but most of them are never right. Yes, I already said that. There's a problem with the machine. It's not me. Well, well, if there's a problem, we'll have to go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. It has my card, lady. It has all of my money in it. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day. You're the one screaming at me. For is no good. You don't have any money in there. It's the machine. It's the machine. Have a wonderful day, Karen. Love you. I love you. Bye. Oh. At first, you would think the lady was the Karen, but further into the clip, it clearly shows he is, as it's common sense not to record in a bank. Can you tell me why you you're not? Can, can you tell me why you're not cashing Sorry, I this need check? You to, to please leave. You may not videotape me. Okay, why well, I'm videotaping Sorry, you? May not you. Videotape me. And I'm gonna put this on Facebook that you won't cash my check. That's from Bank of America. That you refuse to run it. Can you validate to see if this check is any good before I cash it at my bank? Can you please validate this check to see if it's any good so I can cash it at my bank? I'm allowed to record. Can you validate this check before I put it in my bank to make sure it's any good? Um, sir, I would need for you to please leave. Can you please. validate the check? Sir, this is a bank. We ask that you not video Okay, us, and please. the law says I'm allowed to videotape. What law am I breaking? Now, sir, I'm, I'm check, asking you to personally not And I'm asking you, me. can you validate that check before I stick it in my account to see if it's any good? Sir, I, I need for you to please I'm leave. asking you, can you validate the check? To see if it's any good. Sir, we have clients and, and you, you may not. I'm a client, ma'am. You may not. I'm a client. You want to call the police? Call the police. I'll call them for you. You go outside. No, call the police. You want to call them? Call them. Call them. We have other clients. Okay, and I'm asking you to verify the check. We need for you to stop videotaping. No, I'm not going to stop videotaping. I'm going to go step yes. outside. And I'm going to wait for the police since you threatened to call them on a black person because you refuse to validate a check that has Bank of America on it. But I'll wait for the police outside. Thank you, sir. Karens never know how to mind their own business. We have dates for everything. So you're, it doesn't matter if I live here or not. It's none of your business. You don't have any way to get in. But it's none of your business, though. We you can stay here, here ma'am. But you, okay, but you don't know what I'm doing. You don't know... Exactly. But that's, that's it. But it's none of your business. It is. I pay to live here. So it's I your business. Sure you own, you built the property. Are you kidding? I this no. is funny. This is crazy. I protect my property. This but is your you own this property. And me. You pay rent you here, ma'am. That's right. You pay rent here. And I pay for these gates. Ma'am. You pay for these gates. Yeah. I know it's insane that you would try to do this. Why don't you go in the front entrance like you're supposed to and use the key? Clearly, it's you know what is funny? One vehicle at a time. 
I don't care. I do. You don't know what I'm here for, and it's not exactly. my place. I don't. Like you're supposed to, and you're the key. Really, you know what is funny? One vehicle at a time. I don't care. I do. You don't know what I'm here for, and it's not exactly. my place to tell you either. For. Okay. Exactly. There's the hi, ma'am. She's not letting me in. She's acting very crazy. She's literally, she literally came up to my car and would not let me in the complex. I literally, exactly. You look stupid now. You, exactly. You look so dumb now, ma'am. You are crazy. As hell. We bring you another racist Karen. You guys are nuts. Yo, you're Yo, yo, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going for yeah, have a, go you. have a good night. Have a good night. All you Asians love TikTok because you have no Have a good night. Later. Y'all say how to TikTok fast. <laughs> Karen seem to be everywhere and believe they are above everyone else. Just levitating. How do you think I should have handled this lady? Do you think you could have kept your cool? I was grabbing a drink for another customer and this lady cut everyone in line. Is anyone actually taking drinks here or anything? Yeah, she just wants to get She did? Oh, because I thought you guys were here talking and uh, all that. I, I'm just confused. Oh, oh, no, I was just giving her my handheld. Her little bit of handheld. Oh, I, I could oh, immediately oh, tell oh, that okay. something was off. So, let's see. She okay. didn't know that she was being oh, recorded on my Tic Tac Live. Let's see how quickly you can I can't make believe what she said at the end of the clip. Right there, we don't have the full bar. I can't make it more fast. Well, you were making those guys, whatever shots, super fancy. It took you like 10 minutes to make whatever shot. It's just an Akashi that was shaken. Well, it took you 10 minutes. No, if you wanted like a Akashi. Okay, like so that. how about let's, let's make this simple. Let's try again. A double shot of wild whiskey with a ginger back and then a Coca Cola. Can you repeat that to me? I just want to know you remember. I can't say shots if we're not allowed to serve shots. It could be a double martini, uh, well whiskey, but we don't so really have a double martini. So it's all going to be mixed. It's going to be shaken. So you guys can't do separate. I can't just pour it straight in the glass. It has to be shaken, and then put it in the glass. I understand. You think you're cute, and that you can take your time. I'm a model. I know. The, I know the game, girl. I'm not new. But please remember to respect me, okay? I wasn't realizing like, I was like just because there's a lot of guys here. But this Karen doesn't stop there and ends up asking for the manager's name. Uh oh, now you've really done messed up. Let's see how fast you can do this. Let's see how fast you can do this. I just want to see how fast you can do this. Wow. Just because you're We all know Karen's called the cops over unnecessary things, just like this next one. I was talking to you as, as, as the owner. I didn't talk to her. I don't understand. You guys speak English 10% and the rest of the other language. We have the camera. Yes. You can see them if you want to see them again. But now see. I have to do my I have yeah. to do my nails. I tell you. Can you ask him, please? I have to do my nails. I, can, I can't. I have to do my nails. We cannot, we cannot. I came in at 5.30. I made the appointment to do my nails. I have to do my nails. Seriously, I have, I have, I have a flight. I have to do my nails. 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 I have to do my n
disturbing the whole salon. I would appreciate if you could just take this outside. But do you understand that it made does not matter. And I have there a is flight. there's a decorum. That you have to have some decency and be a little bit more respectful. Others, you're coming off like a complete Karen right now. Next, we have this Karen that wants to bring racism and anti-racism into schools. I honestly think trying to bring racism into schools is a bit far. The reason why I authored this is just to make sure that both sides are always being taught to the students. <laughs> oh my God. But it specifically says anti-racism is not allowed. So, okay. racism. so to go back to the anti-racism, when, when we're talking about anti-racism, I know when you look up the definition of it, it says, you know, when you oppose racism. Well, I'm... <laughs> Folks, I, I, we really want to have an open discussion, but there is no way to have an open discussion with all the chitter chatter and the laughing. And we're trying to talk. I heard what everybody said earlier about the lack of communication. I totally agree with everybody. We can do a much better job communicating. But it, I mean, it isn't funny. We are, we're brand new. It's like drinking from a fire hose. We are trying our best. Karen being rude to a customer service employee could land yourself in the exact same situation. Here you go. What's your cat, bro? No ice? Oh, you don't want no ice? I'm so sorry. With no ice? Here you go. Have a good day. You just no ice, man. Bye. This guy might be regretting his new home location if the very first night he runs into Karens like these. Okay, Go ahead, call, call the, the police. Call right. the police then. Don't call, don't call the police. This is very... This is no, an Go ahead, no call the police. I'm recording He's and I'm going to definitely be posting that Yeah, and we're exactly. Black. I don't give a f and you're telling No, us. yeah, you're our neighbors okay. and you're sitting over here talking we're to... We're Bro, how do we look suspicious? Yes, because we're asking. moving in. Because we're moving. So, I mean, like me. hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Because I really want you to. I want you to explain this to me. I really want you to explain this to me. Okay. You got a vacant apartment. Someone's moving we in. We didn't know there's a vacant You've never apartment seen on the them before. Floor. Okay, so okay, okay so, so and, we're just asking and, a question. Okay, okay and but we don't know. okay, but here's the so thing, though. Just saying, she just sat over there and immediately door. accused but me said, of being suspicious. How do I look suspicious? Because you're telling her where the f to go and she don't know where she's going. Yeah, you guys I'm talking. I'm asking to make sure that the key works because we got the key for our celly. You don't want to sit over here telling me we look suspicious. You don't want active. Racist as hell and dumb as hell. And you want to pull the racist you get AJ? card? Yep. Yeah. AJ. So we're going to go to the U-Haul and just finish up with the Yeah, can uh, you close the, cl close the U-Haul first? Close the U-Haul. Close, close the U-Haul door. Uh, get out of here. What are you talking about? Who the fuck you think you talking to? Uh, you. A little you. You. You calling a black man a boy now? No, yeah, look at that. No, calling a black man a boy. See what I'm saying? Calling a black man a boy. Who the fuck you talking about checking what? Check. Your friend. Uh, okay. What's he? He's not gonna do. Okay, oh, he's my friend. He's here for me. Check your man. So, you that's not my man. It's my roommate. So yeah, I said. Okay. Her. Nah. I, I didn't know she that's why I'm man. recording that. Go ahead. You guys sitting over here immediately. Go ahead. Immediately, you sat Go over ahead. here accusing me. Stupid. Accusing me. You're gonna look stupid. It, okay. You're stupid gonna for look what? Stupid. stupid for what? You're over here pulling the black card race. You. The race card. No uh, things are race card. Right. It is what it is. You got a black man over here asking his friend to move. Apparently it does though. Apparently it does though. Apparently it does though. You're standing in front of our apartment building and we've never seen you And I told her, go to the third floor. Yeah, I'm going to record because you're accusing me of a crime that I have not committed. We all know that when you have a Karen as your neighbor or even living in your neighborhood, they're always super nosy. You call them to cut down the tree? What do you did, mean? Did you call these, call these people to cut a tree? 
That's their house. They can cut no, it. No, that's my parents' house now. That's not your house, yes, baby girl. Yes, it is. No, it's not. What do you mean anymore? You need to go, baby. You keep, it's every morning you're waking up screaming. What is your issue? Who screams? You. You wake How? up. I don't know if you have an issue. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I have that issues? You, you wake up every morning or something. You're always, something's okay, always well, happening. Okay, well, the police are coming in. I don't give a. We bring you the Karen versus Terrell Owens segment. I'm not finna sit up here. He ran the stop sign. <laughs> well, there is no stop sign. What are you talking about? I understand. <laughs> I wasn't, but I asked him to slow down, and he started. He got out of his car and started harassing me. He put his car in park. Right, because you're gonna yell at me, me and telling me I'm almost hit you, and I didn't. But you didn't have to get out of your car. You didn't have to talk to me that way either, Karen. First of all, you had your your boy right here, your husband right here. So first of all, I don't do that type okay, of stuff. Relax. You did. You put your car in park and you came uh, at yeah, I me. Yeah, I first of all, I didn't come at you. Yes, you, can, you did. You can stop all of that, Karen. Okay, listen. Get out of here with all of that. Listen, if you guys want me here, I can solve this. He literally came this after is, me. Oh, <laughs> here she crying. There's Karen. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Swear to God, I've never been a part of nothing like this. I've seen it. I've seen it. Do you have your ID? I've seen it. Yes, I've seen it, but this is firsthand. <laughs> oh boy, as she's crying. Oh my God, this is this is real. This is real. This is real. Here you go. Here you go, sir. You can, <laughs> this is real. This is real. <laughs> this is real. This is real. I've never seen. It. I've, I've seen it, but I've never been a part of this. This is real life. And now she's crying. Her husband tried to tell her to go in the house, but now she wanted to do the whole Karen thing. So I'm gonna be here with my camera. To show everything. First of all, you need to stop that. He was speeding through the neighborhood. He was not. I was in the garage. You're lying now because I was sitting in the garage. She said I was speed. First of all, I want. I know what you're saying. No, no, I get you. No, this is real. This is real life in 2022. This is real life, Karen stuff. <laughs> I've, ne crying? I've never seen I do I've seen it on 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 TV I've seen it on video but I've never really been a part of something like this this is unbelievable gyms seem like they bring a lot of Karens in that don't care if they are racist or are making a scene what? you know what you need to stop with that attitude this is not how you speak go to people to okay country. oh go back to my country oh, okay you can be on live did you see what she said? Go back to my country. Karen. Karen said, back, go back to my country. Unbelievable. This is why I don't give you the satisfaction. Unbelievable. Really nice and I point a at you. What you did was disrespect to my Asian people. You will never gonna disrespect that again. I hope you learned a big lesson. You met the wrong person in the morning. And you know me, I won't allow that kind of behavior. You're so entitled. When you said to me, oh, you know what? I need to go, I have a class. It's all, it's about, it's all about you, huh? I came back and apologize. And then you have the audacity in front of my camera, and then you said, oh, go back to my country? Did you, were you born here, your ancestors born here and everything that you think you're entitled? I, no, I caught you on film. I'm not entitled. You're so, you're not gonna disrespect my Asian people. I will fight for it, okay? I do. I was with my princess and I, my uh, Oh, now you saw it because you got caught. It's on the video. From now on, you would never, I hope you learned a big lesson, okay? I am sorry, I apologize. But why do you why do you think you have audacity to think that you're entitled? I want to know why. I don't think I'm, I'm sick and tired of people like you walking around here thinking so entitled. Your attitude, rolling the eyes at me because I have to relinquish my gym station for you. You say, oh, I have a class to go, whatever. You are not gonna disrespect I, me. I no, said, you're not gonna disrespect me. I said I'm sorry. And I didn't. I really hope you would never me. ever be ever approach me like that or any Asian people speaking that. I will not. Uh, let's leave it at that. We, so we go to re reconcile it, right? You don't want her to say anymore. It's not even a... I just think that she's unfit. With that attitude, you're unfit. This is full of Asian people here. This is... You can call it whatever you call it, but you were never going to disrespect that ever that common. I hope you've learned a big lesson from that. I swear to God, I can, I can do so much more. I said, I'm okay? Sorry. As adults, let's just leave it at that, right? Yeah, but that, hey, that's a hateful comment. It's not allowed. And she's entitled for it.
Rear-ending someone's car means you should apologize. However, this Karen decided instead to say some racial slurs. You, you've been drinking? Have you been at the game drinking? No, I no. said we're getting No, you drink. said you've been drinking. Thank you. This is white entitlement right here. I need your insurance, please. I'm giving you my insurance. I need your insurance. Thank you. Thank you for yep. being respectful. Okay. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm... Okay. Or Indian or whatever. I'm not Indian. You don't belong in America. I don't belong in America. Are you videoing? Yes, I am. I will be getting your license, please. I am videoing you. I guarantee you will probably lose whatever job you have for this. I'm sorry. You know what? Go you should poke yourself. You should. Wow. You should. I mean, dude, I'm sorry. You have to. You have to witness this. This is. This is your own wife. I'm sorry for that. Having a Karen as a customer must be extremely difficult. Well, this worker handled it very well. That was steak and cheese wrap. Huh? Steak and cheese wrap. No, no, it's already done. done. But just make sure you do theirs instead next time. Yeah, definitely. Okay. okay. Steak and cheese wrap. Make a combo with a drink and No, it's fine. And so there's 637 available without. Sharing is a big thing that you need to learn to do while at a playground. But this Karen decides to rip the child's hand off instead so her child could play with it. So what? Why are you harassing me? Why First you, you touched my child, and you're touching my child's hand, I, and then now I you're harassing you me, and I was working with him. My oh. child is autistic, and he is having troubles. So mm -hmm. why don't you mind your own business and get out of my face before I make you get out of my face? Do you understand me? You're not going to make me do anything. You will get out of my face. Cutting in line will obviously make plenty of people mad. But this Karen just believed that everyone had to make room for her. I don't want to be driving, bro. Now these dumb here don't know how to go one way. Right, you need to chill the out. Get the out of my face right now. No, but it's not here for five minutes by anybody one here. One way street. And you got to cut in front of everyone. There's a line this way. And this does not know how to go in a gas station. You're entitled. This was sitting here for five minutes. You're the dolt. You're the asinine dolt who didn't come here. You let it stay here for five minutes. You let it stay here for five minutes, right? You chose to sit there. That's your fault. You chose to sit there. Out of the way! Go to a different gas station, dog. Sucks to suck. Bro, get the call now. 
There's a line, that's why. This space was available. Come in right here, go in front of it. Don't be an idiot and sit there for 15 hey, minutes. She was that's waiting on you, for all the way. That's on you, suck my Wow. Karens don't ever expect people to talk back, just like this Karen thought. Come on, what you gonna do to me? Yes, I like you threatening me. I'm feeling real threatened right now by this white lady. Go, white lady. Ah, oh, help! 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 We bring you this pastor that is not happy with the book assortment in a bookshop, though it comes across more as an ad. Hey guys, Pastor Greg Locke here, and I came to our local Books A Million to prove a point about witchcraft. I'm so sick of the church saying, there's no such thing as witchcraft. Why are you always talking about dream catchers and healing crystals and yoga mats and blah, 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 blah. And you're all you just, all you ever do is talk about demons. Witchcraft is not real. First of all, witches laugh at us because they're very real. This is our local books a million. And this is one side that I'm gonna show you of all of the spell books, the witchcraft, two entire sections of tarot cards, Ouija board nonsense. You can slow the video down later and see it. Tons of stuff about practical. Uh, witchcraft, astrology, again, tarot cards, crystals, yoga, Greek mythology, Look what's a part of the uh, the witchcraft section. The secret. That's a book about manifesting your destiny, making things come to pass. Tons of stuff here. Look at this whole section. He continues on criticizing the assortment, saying it's everywhere. Where you can buy sage. It's in the witchcraft section. It's not in the Christian living section. It's not in the cycling and health magazine section. It's in the witchcraft section. Tarot cards. They even got queer tarot cards. They got it all. Sage everywhere. Burning sage does not cleanse the room. Burning sage brings demons. Check this out. DC. They're targeting our children. DC tarot cards. is everywhere. Witch manuals galore. How to be a witch. How to cast a spell. There are literally... 1,500 different books, and then all these candles, astrology, horoscopes, it's all right here. And everybody wants to get mad at Pastor Greg Locke and Global Vision because we believe this nonsense needs to be exposed. No wonder so many people in the church world need deliverance from witchcraft and the occult and Satanism and Satanic ritual abuse and all this evil. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. Our books a million is full of this stuff. Witches everywhere. The witch's way. A guide to modern day spellcraft, nature magic, and divination. <laughs> okay, divination is a demon. It's called the Spirit of Python, Acts chapter 16, verse 16. It's everywhere. And people want to get mad at me for calling it out. But the, 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 the facts are the facts. Stuff's all over the place. 